In this video, we are going to look at the differences between consonant stem and I stem endings in the third declension. Let's start by looking at a masculine consonant stem noun. By the way, feminine consonant stem nouns have the exact same endings as masculine consonant stem nouns, so the masculine noun we look at is standing in for both masculine and feminine nouns. The word we're going to look at is fur, furis masculine, the very first consonant stem we learned. And here it is, fur, furim, furis, furi, fure, fures, fures, furum, furibus, furibus. Of course, the nominative singular in third declension nouns is a little odd in that its ending is, is not predictable with the result that we're not going to identify any particular ending for the nominative singular of third declension nouns. However, in red here, in these other forms, are the standard masculine and feminine third declension noun endings. M, is, e, e, es, es, um, ibis, ibis. Now let's look, let's look at a neuter consonant stem noun. The noun we're going to look at is nomen, nominus, neuter. Here's how it declines. Nomen, nomen, nominus, nomini, nomine, nomina, nomina, nominum, nominibus, nominibus. Now, of course, once again, we're not going to identify a particular ending for the nominative singular because in the third declension, nominative singulars have no particular nominative singular ending. And of course, that means also that the accusative, in this case, will not have any particular ending because, of course, in, the, in neuter nouns, the accusative and nominative must be the same. But from that point on, we have nominus, nomini, nomine, nomina, nomina, nominum, nominibus, nominibus. And these endings in red here constitute the neuter endings for consonant stem nouns in the third declension. This means that we can now, on the basis of those two nouns we just looked at, fur and nomen, fill out a chart that shows the general consonant stem endings for the third declension. Here is a chart which has the singular and plural endings, and within the singular and plural there are masculine and feminine endings and neuter endings, and then masculine and feminine endings and neuter endings. Of course, masculine and feminine endings will be the same. And here they are, M, is, E, E, for the masculine and feminine singular. Um, now, of course, these question marks here, by the way, indicate that there's no particular ending, and we've already seen that's the case for nominative and singular forms, and also neuter accusative singular forms. But here are the neuter endings after these two question marks, is, e, e, and in the plural the masculine and feminine endings are es, es, um, ibis, ibis. And the neuter endings are a, a, um, ibis, ibis. So this is a chart which illustrates the consonant stem endings in the third declension for both singular and plural and all three genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter, and all five cases. Now let's do the same with I stem endings to make a similar chart. First we're going to look at a masculine I stem noun. Once again, feminine I stem nouns have the same endings as masculine I stem nouns, so we can use, just use this masculine I stem noun. The noun we're going to use is kiwis kiwis masculine which actually can also be feminine too, if we were talking about a woman, so we could have said feminine too, but I'm going to treat it as masculine. Kiwis, kiwis, masculine. 
Of course, once again, there's no particular ending in the nominative, but after that we have kiwim, kiwis, kiwi, and then we have uh, kiwe, kiwi. Now this is a little bit of a problem. Um, the actual I stem ending should be kiwi with a long I, like this one in parenthesis, and that's what you'll sometimes see. However, oddly enough, I stem nouns in Latin, usually in the ablative singular, have consonant stem endings. So they will have the consonant stem ending E instead of I. But really, this is the I stem ending that ought to be there. In the plural, it's kiwis, kiwis, kiwium, kiwibis, kiwibis. So these endings in red here constitute the standard masculine and feminine I stem endings in the third declension. Let's look at a neuter I stem noun. And by the way, we haven't learned any neuter stem, I stem nouns yet, but they're very easy and we will learn them in a, about a month or so. Here's the noun we're going to use. The noun is animal, animalis neuter, and it means animal in Latin, as a matter of fact. Once again, there's no particular form that, uh, no particular ending in the nominative, and if, since this is a neuter noun, the same has to be true in the accusative. But once we get to the genitive singular, we start having standard endings. Animalis, animali, animali, animalia, animalia, animalium, animalibus, animalibus. And the standard endings are in, in red here. Is, e, e, ia, ia, ium, ibus, ibus. So now, just as we did with consonant stem nouns, we can create a table of I stem endings. The endings from kiwis, kiwis masculine, give us these forms. And the endings from the neuter animal give us these forms. So now we can put charts side by side of the consonant stem endings and the I stem endings. And here they are. Here is the chart we constructed earlier of the consonant stem endings. Here is the chart we constructed earlier of the I stem endings. And the forms in red are the places where the endings differ. So in the ablative singular, the standard consonant stem ending is E, or E in Latin, and the standard I stem ending is E. In the plural, the standard masculine and feminine accusative plural ending is ace. But in I stems, it is ees. And in the neuter plural, the nominative and accusative consonant stem endings are a. Ah. Of course, they have to be the same because it's a neuter noun, or because they're neuter endings, I should say, and, and they have to be the same in the nominative and accusative. And in the I stems, they're ia, ia, ia. Okay, and so that's that's different. And there's one other place where the two charts differ, and that's in the genitive plural. The genitive plural of consonant stem, uh, consonant stems, masculine, feminine, and neuter, is um, while for I stem it's I stems it's ium. So, having looked at this chart, we can now come to some conclusions. And these conclusions will constitute the facts that you need to know for the mini quiz. These are the places where consonant stem endings vary from I stems. All ablative singulars, E versus I, E for consonant stems, long I for I stems. Masculine and feminine plural accusative, long ES, ES um, for consonant stems, and long IS, ES for I stems. Neuter plural nominative and accusative is a ah in consonant stems, but ia in i stems, and all genitive plurals um, uh, differ between i stems and consonant stems. Consonant stems end in um, um, and i stems end in ium. The end. This has been a Barking Blue Healer production. Joe, Joe.
Jiki Jai Joe, 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 Jiki Jai Joe,